welcome back to episode two of Project 3030, a training series for the Vitality 10K in which I'm aiming to run 30 minutes and 30 seconds. Today it is seven o'clock in the morning and I'm here in Budapest, Hungary, making some content here at the World Champs. Last night we were down in the Olympic Stadium and it was incredible. We got to see the women's 1500 meter final. It was a wicked night and we didn't get back till about 11 o'clock. I'm up at seven o'clock this morning to get my training done. Um, I'm not prepared to miss any sessions while I'm here. I want to try and get as much of my training done as possible. Um, so today I've got a interval session. Before I get out there in the morning sun, I just want to say a big thank you to Saw Running. Saw are a premium running apparel based out of London. They designed some of the highest quality kit that I've ever tried. It is slightly at the higher price point, but that is really reflected in what you get. If you use BIR15 across this training series, you can get 15% off, and I can't wait to use their products throughout this training block and into the Vitality 10K race. Without further ado, let's get out in the sunshine and get this workout done. Didn't quite make it out. Got to have a coffee in the hotel before I leave, surely. Nice. So I just made it outside. Here's the river Dunby, Danby. Danube. I want to say um, that runs through Budapest, but I thought I would talk you through my workout before I get going this morning. Um, so it's a classic session uh, in training for the 10K. And it's eight by one kilometer with a minute 30 recovery. And I'm pleased to see there's a bit of shade on this right side of the river. I'm gonna aim for around my 10K pace and hopefully that's around 3.05 per kilometer, maybe a little bit faster if I'm feeling good. Um, and then I'm gonna jog back to the house. So it'll be a total of 14 kilometers roughly this morning with a warm up and a cool down. Um, and I'll talk you through the workout as I go, splits and all that jazz as we go. But yeah, beautiful morning. My watch says it's ready. So I'm just about to start uh, the 3K warm up, get the sunnies on, even though it's not sunny just yet um, and see how we get on with this one. Three, two, one, let's go. So this is one of my favorite workouts to do. Uh, and when I'm training more for 5K, I'll typically do six by a K. Uh, slightly faster paces than I'm going to be running this morning uh, and when I'm training for 10k 8 by a k for the half marathon I like to do 10 by a k and for the full marathon 15 by a k so depending on what event I'm training for depends slightly how I structure this workout um, and I always try to aim for the race pace during these reps just to slowly get your body used to running at those speeds so that when it comes to race day, uh, for me, the Vitality 10K, I should be used to what 10K pace feels like. So when the gun goes, you can just settle into that pace straight away. But I'm just doing my warm up now, three kilometers along the front here. Um, it's a little bit cobblestoned at the moment, but I'm hoping it levels out a little bit. Uh, and then I'll get into the first rep. See that? That's sweat already. I'm 3K in to the warm up. Um, I've just come down here to this lovely flat piece of uh, pavement next to this uh, road. Probably not the best in terms of breathing in emiss emissions, but um, it's the best piece of flat land that I could find yesterday on my run when I was scouting out a location to do this. So basically, I'm going to do a few strides now, uh, a few dynamic stretches, and then I'm going to start the first kilometer rep. Uh, I'm going to start off a little bit on the easier side and hopefully build into it. Um, to be honest with you, I'm feeling a bit rough today. I um, only had about four and a half hours sleep. Um, so I'm going to make sure that I do today's session to 10k effort. And that's something I like to do if I'm not necessarily feeling great when it comes to getting a session done. I think it's important to listen to how your body's feeling. Um, I'd love to hit three minutes per k for every single rep today. Uh, but if it doesn't happen, I want to settle into a 10k effort um, and hopefully just tick this one off. Um, but I'm going to do a few strides now, a few stretches, and then I'll get into the first rep. Strides and stretches done. 
This pole here is going to be my marker, so I'm going to start my 1k rep here. I'm going to run in that direction for a kilometer stop. Then I'm going to wait for a minute and 30 seconds, that's the recovery on today's workout. Uh, and then I'm going to run back uh, and finish the second rep here. And the third rep, fourth rep, fifth rep, sixth rep, seventh rep, eighth rep, finishing here. So, yeah, 8k of volume in today's session. A great one for 10k specific training. If you're looking to do this session in your training week, then I suggest you tailor it towards uh, your race. As I was saying, depending on uh, your distance, it's going to depend on the number of reps. And depending on the race, it depends on the pace of each repetition. So for me, ideally, 303s per k would be perfect this morning. But we'll see how we get on uh, on a tired body. But let's get into it. Footpath's clear. Okay, here we go. When I press go on the watch, there's no turning back. And three, two, one, let's do it. Rep one done, 304 I think per K. Happy with that. Just got to try and settle into a rhythm in the heat here and hopefully tick this one off. Another 50 seconds, let's start rep two. Woo, so warm. How many times am I going to complain about the heat in this workout? 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Rep number two. Three oh one, three oh two for the second rep. I think I'm gonna have to put the camera away. I really need to concentrate now on getting these reps down to a T because it's bloody hot. Woo! How have I got? Forty three seconds. Right, camera's going in the back pocket. I'll let you know how this one goes. Woo! That was a real struggle this morning. Felt really tired when I woke up, uh, but I managed to get it done. I think I pretty much hit all my splits, which I'm really chuffed with. I got to about 6K, the sixth rep, and I was like, I don't think I can continue, but managed to dig deep for that seventh one, and then that last rep never counts. So yeah, good session. I think I averaged probably about three minutes per K, which is really good. Um, very, very happy with that. For me, it was a bit of a realization today, like how hard it is training when you've got like a full-time job. I'm very lucky uh, in the sense that I can basically plan my training around my work. Um, but with this trip here in uh, Budapest, I've got uh, stuff from 10 o'clock this morning all the way till 10, 11 p.m. this evening. So there's just no time for training. So I had to get up, get it done. Um, so if you're one of those people that have to get up every day and go before work, then I salute you because oh, that was really hard. It's a lot harder than it usually is. There we go, session done, time for some breakfast. There we go. What a mess, eh? <sighs> so, 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 so. I just got back from the session. Overall, I was really chuffed with that this morning, despite feeling a little bit knackered on the warm up. I think after that first K, uh, I settled into a nice rhythm and actually ended up going a little bit quicker than I expected. So, um, I'm just gonna jump on to the Chorus app and go through the workout. Um, so it was 14 kilometers in total and an average pace of 428, including my uh, recoveries. Um, I've got a score of 114% in running performance, um, which with the Chorus app, anything above 100 is good. And I think anything above 105, they consider excellent. So yeah, really chuffed with that. It's always great to see that uh, percentage in a high category. Uh, an average for the hour and four minutes of running was 148 beats per minute in terms of heart rate. Let me go all the way down here to in the heart rate zones. So you can see most of the session today was in the threshold category. Those reps averaged around 301 per kilometer, I think, um, was the average. I'll go through the splits in just a second. Um, we're all in that sort of threshold zone. I did have a max heart rate of 183, which looks like it was on the seventh rep, which is, to be honest, when I was starting to feel it. Um, so yeah, good to see some nice uh, heart rate data there. Um, I used this um, arm-based monitor, or I have been using it for the last sort of two or three weeks. Um, it comes out from Kuros uh, in a few weeks time, I believe, when this video is published. Um, so make sure you check that out. As you can see from my graph, super accurate. Just as accurate, I find, as the chest-based ones and just a lot more comfortable. Um, but let's have a little look at the splits. So the first repetition was 3.05 per K which was a little bit slow, maybe a couple of seconds slower than I would have wanted, but it was just sort of like warming the legs up. Um, I, was, I probably didn't want to go too hard on the first rep. Uh, and then the second rep, 259, 
uh, then the third rep 259, fourth rep 259, fifth rep 3, sixth rep 300, seventh rep 259 and finally a 301 to finish on the eighth rep. And overall, really, really tough with that. Um, I wasn't expecting to get so many reps under that three minute uh, per K mark, which is a great sign at this point in the training. Only on week two and I've got another four weeks after this um, to work down to that 10K pace. So pretty much all of those reps were faster than 10K pace. Um, I just sort of ran to feel this morning. Um, I had it programmed into my watch to beep um, after a kilometre. So I wasn't necessarily watching the, the splits too much. Um, so 2.59, three minutes per K was roughly where uh, I naturally was sitting for those reps. I was wearing these bad boys this morning, the A6 Metaspeed Sky Plus. Um, I'm still convinced this is one of the best uh, carbon racing shoes. I think there's like a top tier of racing shoes and in my opinion I would put the A6 Metaspeed at the, at the top of that um, along with the um, Vaporfly from Nike and the Adios Pro 3 from Adidas. Really enjoyed that. First time running in this new fresh red colorway. I'm actually doing a 10k race while I'm here in Budapest. Um, I'm not going to be actually fully racing it. I'm just going to do it as a bit of a tempo um, but I'll be wearing these for that race. Um, so it was nice to get a first session in this morning just to check they were all right. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this week's episode of the Project 3030. If you wanna check out my week's training, then I will leave a link down below to my Strava where you can see uh, all the training I managed to get done this week. I'm not gonna hit the 170 kilometers that I set myself, but as you can see over there on Strava, I tried to hit as many of my runs as possible. If you have any questions about this kilometer repeats session and maybe you wanna add it into your session, then drop me a message in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But if you're training for a 5K, I'd recommend doing five or six reps, 10K around eight reps, uh, half marathon 10 reps and for the full marathon you want to be doing 15 reps and I personally like to try and hit around my race pace for the repetitions with a minute 30 recovery. Give it a go, let me know how you get on. Final shout out to Saw, thank you for supporting this series. This top started as a nice light blue and it's almost a navy now, I'm so sweaty. Uh, I think it was about 24, 25 degrees when I was doing the session this morning. But this t-shirt handles the hot weather really, really well. Um, so thanks to Saw, if you want to use BIR15, you can get 15% off. But until next time, thanks for supporting the series. Aspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you again soon.